Hola, como estas? Okay, so today we are reading Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcakes by Jane O'Connor and Pictures based on the art of Robin Prius Glasser. Yeah, yeah. And I thought Fancy Nancy would be great to read today because I love that she tells us what words mean. That's cool, right? So let's do it. I adore school. Adore means to really, really like something. See what I mean? She's already telling us what words mean. But today, I can't wait to go home. I am going to bake cupcakes. Mmm, fancy cupcakes. That sounds tantalizing to me. Does that sound tantalizing to you? Tantalizing means extra yummy. Nancy, did you hear what I just said? Miss Glass asks. I shake my head. I will repeat it, Miss Glass says. Repeat is a fancy, is fancy for saying something over again. So what is repeat? It's fancy for saying something over again. There is no recess tomorrow because of the bake sale. The bake sale is to raise money for library books. Before I leave, I go over to Miss Glass. I am sorry, I wasn't being a good listener. Miss Glass smiles. I know you are trying to improve. Improve is a fancy word for getting better at something. I hug Miss Glass. I adore her, I really do. So that was very good for her to apologize for not listening, huh? On the way home, Bree says she's making brownies for the bake sale. Mmm. Robert is making a red velvet cake. It's not really made with velvet. That is a very fancy kind of cloth. But inside is all red. I will definitely buy a piece, I tell him. At the market, my mom buys eggs and milk and flour and sugar and butter. Don't forget the sprinkles and candy, I tell her. It's lucky I'm here or we would end up with plain cupcakes. I want to start baking right away. I listen carefully to my mother. Miss Glass would be very proud. I put all the right stuff in the batter. I pour the batter into the cupcake pan. My sister is not such a good listener. My mom tells her three times to keep her fingers out of the batter. The cupcakes come out of the oven. Ooh la la, what a lovely aroma. An aroma is a fancy, is fancy for smell. When they cool off, we put on frosting and sprinkles and candy. I want to show Miss Devine my cupcakes. My mom says, come back soon. And be sure to leave the cupcakes where Frenchie can't get them. I'm already out the door. See, she's already out before she finishes telling her. <sighs> what do you think's gonna happen? Miss Devine buys a cupcake. She says it's delectable. That is fancy for yummy. I come home and call Bree. We make a deal. I will buy two of her brownies. She will buy two of my cupcakes. I hope I sell all of them. Hmm. 
A minute later, I hang up. Then I see Frenchie's face. Frosting is all over her mouth. Uh-oh. Oh no, the cupcakes are a mess. Nancy, didn't you listen? My mom asks. I said to leave them in a safe place. Oh dear. It's all my fault. I wasn't listening, I tell my mom. Just then, my dad comes home. I tell him what happened. Now, I don't have the cupcakes for the bake cell. Cupcakes, my dad says. You baked cupcakes already? Then he holds out a big bag. In it is all the stuff for cupcakes. I told you I would buy everything. Both my parents say at the same time. Then they start laughing. I laugh too. Nobody in my family is a good listener. After dinner, we bake cupcakes all over again. I am exhausted. That's fancy for very tired. My dad says, Nancy, please get ready for bed. Guess what? For once, he didn't have to repeat himself. The bake cell is a big success. My cupcakes are all gone. Oh, I say to my mom, I didn't even get to taste one. Look, my mom says, she saved one for me. I taste it. Mmm, totally delectable. All right, here's the words that she taught us today. Are you ready? These are fancy words. Adore. Remember, a door is to really, really like something. Aroma is a smell. Delectable is the same thing as yummy. Exhausted means to be very tired. Improve is to get better at something. To repeat is to say something over again. And velvet is a very fancy kind of cloth. Well, I hope you liked our story about Fancy Nancy and the cupcakes. And I hope you remember all the words she taught you. That is pretty cool. I love you. Have a great day.